getting in my daily double dose of caffeine. Have a fun day today going on a date with my girlfriend later, but first, you know, we gotta put in some work, so we're gonna finish this up and get going. About to head out for my run, a little bit more constrained on time than I would like to be. Only got about an hour to work with. Just had a little bit of a slow morning, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Gonna do seven to eight very easy miles. Head home, of course, get in my push-ups core, all that good stuff. Shower quickly and pick up Sophie by noon because we are heading to the new Top Golf location in the LA area. She's been wanting to do that for a while, so I'm surprising her on a date to Top Golf. She doesn't know that yet. And then I'm gonna take her out to dinner after. So yeah, pretty much just a average day for me. I'm really excited to just go on this date, but first we gotta put in this work, of course. So I'll see you guys on the GoPro. The run all finished 8.08 .08 miles, 58 minutes, 23 seconds, 713 minute per mile average pace. Just about an hour as promised. Nice, easy run. Beautiful day outside. Couldn't ask for a nicer day. Blue skies, nice and sunny. Gonna have a lot of fun for the rest of the day on this date. Just excited that I get the opportunity to you know, have fun some days and run and be fit and be healthy and just feeling very grateful to be able to do all this and have a good job that, you know, pays me well, that I can take my girlfriend out and do fun things. So yeah, just feeling very grateful and very happy. I'm going to head back to the house, core, shower, push-ups, the usual good stuff, eat a little bit of breakfast and then head out for our date and have some fun for the rest of today. I'm on the way to pick up Sophie now. Didn't really have time to make breakfast at all, so I just picked up some bagel sandwiches, some breakfast bagel sandwiches for me and Sophie, and gonna go through the car wash really quickly because my car is so dirty and I really need a car wash, and then we'll be over to Sophie's house and we'll be off to El Segundo to go to Top Golf. Had a ton of fun today at Top Golf and ate some great food at John and Vinny's with my girlfriend Sophie. I think it's really, really important to have a full balance in all the things you do in life. Back in 2019, when I was training for my ultra, I was so obsessive and so focused on running. All I would do is wake up, run 20 miles, get home, eat, sleep, and recover. And all I would do is worry about the next run I had the following day and just crushing that next 20 mile run I had. But nowadays, I think I have a much more healthier approach and a much more balanced life overall. I remember I had my 21st birthday like five weeks or so before my ultra marathon and we were out, it wasn't even that late, probably like midnight, 12.30 or so, getting some drinks with my friends and I, all I wanted to do was go home and just sleep because I was so worried that I wasn't going to recover enough or sleep enough to be able to hit my 20 mile run I wanted to do hard enough the next day. So yeah, I, I believe that you know, in everything in life, there should be a balance. Running is really important, but you know, there's a bunch of other things in my life that are also very, very important to me. And I really didn't understand what people meant by being like, you know, all in or super hyper obsessive about one thing until I started training for the ultra marathon. Then I kind of got it when people say like, oh, I have an obsessive personality, something like that. I never really understood until the ultra marathon training came around because I was so hyper obsessive with it and just everything all other aspects of my life really fell to the wayside. I didn't hang out with my friends too much. I didn't really go out and venture or do anything. Although I was pretty obsessive and hyper-focused on training for my ultra back in 2019, I think being able to look back on it now with some perspective, it did teach me a lot when it comes to what it means to being a balanced, more well-rounded person now as a 24-year-old. I really do wanna be there for the ones I care about and the ones I love and be able to spend time with them and spend time on other things besides running, adventure, and doing a lot of other fun things that this world has to offer for me and the last thing I'd want to do would be to look back in 10 20 years and just regret that I had my nose so deep in one specific thing that I wasn't able to kind of 
wake up and look around and smell the flowers and experience all the other great things that this life has to offer. Some days are very running focused. Some days are focused on other things. Some days are a little bit of both like today. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today and really just show a more realistic perspective. I've been really into the, the kind of realism of these videos and not just so much of uh, one specific thing and some superficial video that's perfectly edited and everything. Kind of wanted to show you just a more realistic view of what my life looks like as a YouTuber and a runner and just a normal human being. But but if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do your things, search for happiness, peace.